asked on Twitter to send me saves that you're maybe struggling with as my dad would like to rebuild them. And this turned out to be dad's most difficult challenge he's ever partaken in on Football Manager. From a team that maybe gained too much success too soon, to a tactical disaster in the relegation zone of League 2. The first save that my dad is going to be saving is at Gateshead Football Club. Dad, the first rebuild that we have you doing here is yeah. Reese Dolans, who sent in his Gateshead uh, save that he has. They are in the Premier League in the 2029 season. He's done very well he, to well, get them up there. We just checked his record. It was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, so the first season he took over in Vanarama National League, he won that back-to-back -back first places. Then a second place, so three promotions in a row, yeah. into the championship, which he got 12th place, and then won in the second season of the championship from second position, and then his one season in the Premier League so far, 12th place, yeah. he survived. Now, although there is the editor open, we've already checked the game status, no editor has been used or anything like that, there's no database changes, so Reese sent this in because he says now there's a bit of a stagnation in the save whereas previously he's been able to belt up through the leagues through obviously loan deals and free signings which is the best way of going up through the the, the, the lower leagues as we yeah. can see here you get to a point where there wasn't a lot of options now what i also did notice is that reese also only had a small database loader which meant the players and not as much yeah. around the world. We can see this is the first season where he spent a lot of money, a £32 million uh, there, which he bought in Kamari Doyle, who's still at the club, a good player as well. £52 million, but he spent 83 and that's another thing that Reese told us, wasn't it? That yeah. he tends to have sold more than what he spent, uh, as we can see, there's a lot of players going out for, for big money there, £17 million, but coming in, uh, there's a lot of like seven millions and this is going into the first season in the Premier League and this is this season. So he spent 72 this season and only sold 33. So one of the only times that that's kind of happened. But this is the time now where he needs to push on because yeah. else you don't stagnate, you go backwards. Spending a lot of money on a player there who we both would argue is not 40, 40 million pounds worth of player. No. But this is the problem that he is in right oh. now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I found the same problem. Like, you're just approaching players and they're just not interested in, in yeah. joining you. Too early in the Premier League to sort of say, you know, that you, you, you attract players. Yeah. So that they sort of tend to see a stand at the back and say, no, we'll see how you get on for two seasons. That's it. And, and that's the problem he was getting. The reputation of the club is still only three star. Yeah. But he's in the Premier League. And that's the problem that we have. Now, the tactic that uh, Reese is running is just an offset of a 4 1. 4-3-3 arguably but obviously the one that comes in there with the one striker uh, which suits the team that he has it's a good tactic to be fair we've had a look through and you know it's very similar to the types of ones that maybe just less instructions than what we use yeah. but that's one that may that's, be curious yeah, that's the, the one, lower defensive line that's the one I didn't like as well we, yeah. we like to play a higher line don't we yeah now you're also picking this up dad in the 24th of November so yeah. we are kind of halfway through the season almost or third way through the season but no transfer win and there is only five million pound for when you get to january yeah let's have a look at the schedule so far because it's been a little bit ropey however you are in 14th place there is wins in there yeah you're picking up a 3-0 against well you're not but reese did a 3-0 against leicester he's even chucking in friendlies when there's an international break which i quite like to gain morale yeah which and, is a clever tactic I mean, that was a good one as well 12 nil yeah nil nil against newcastle beating man city on penalties in the fl cup there we got a nice little three nil win and a draw to liverpool so this That's, team is certainly capable of stuff yeah it is your task today to stop them from stagnating and this is one of three of rebuilds that dad has taken on including my tag team partners rebuild which we will see later on danny boy johnson uh well let's have a look well, at that stick to your wrestling yeah that was, that was dad's <laughs> comments when he's seen the save but we'll have to see that first off is reese's gateshead team let's have a look to see what dad has done at the end of january so dad we're at the end of january now yeah. these are the transfers out there's quite a few uh players who sold for a little bit of money there's one that you went out for quite a lot or 6.75 million pounds obviously doubles your budget not exactly like a it's mind-blowing type not a of player. Great player but good money for him yeah that's why i looked at but this is the other thing that reese said he's struggling to find those young players that turn into world-class players maybe yeah. because of the the, uh, the database size but you have brought in some names let's have a look at this. you got kevin dobbs coming in for 
900k. Yeah. I mean, for 900k, he's good. I don't know whether he's Premier League worthy as a centre back. We've got Jake Bowyer, who is just a loan deal, quite expensive loan deal as well, Dad. If I'm honest. I'm looking for someone to score goals, mate. He's he was 16 uh, finishing and 15 acceleration. Okay. So you know he, he was quick. Tikvic from DC United. Yeah. That's the centre back, left sided as well. I felt that I was a bit, a little bit weak in the defence, and um, that's why I got rid of that one player. I mean, the two players I've, I've brought in already, two centre defenders, I feel was better than the one that we got rid of. So. Okay. Uh, Harrison Palmer came in on a loan deal as well, another, another defender, there, yeah, so. right sided, better pace yeah. on him. And then finally, Paolo Bernardo, which is a good deal actually, three point yeah, three million I was, pounds. I was pleased that this guy came in to be honest. I yeah. didn't think he would have because um, I think I've used this guy before in, in, in a couple of rebuilds we've used. Yeah, so. you have. Yeah. yeah. So those are the transfers you've made. You told me you had a bit of trouble with a tactic yeah i mean you go through the game I, I was trying all different tactics to see what i could do um and, and i think this is the one that i went with from the end of january onwards yeah you're even playing a lower defensive yeah. line as well it does look like you also struggled with that schedule wise it's not been great no i mean we left reese's team on 14th place in the league you've dropped down a 16th yeah <laughs> you also, I mean, you got through to the, really the cup semi final. I won one game in December. Yeah, you're in the cup final against Chelsea. You yeah. got that coming up. Uh, so that's something to look forward to in the uh, in, at the end of the season. And of course, the FA Cup, you're still in that too. You're in the fifth round of the FA Cup after a win against Hull City there and earlier against Ipswich. So, But you are picking up a lot of loss, especially that December. That December is yeah. dreadful. To be honest, I was getting a bit worried. I was going to get sacked. Yeah, I would be too. <laughs> that's the tactical change that you've made. And we've had a look and you've changed tactic quite a few times yeah. to, to settle on this. You are how many points off the bottom? Three points right now. Ooh. Oh, Let's go forward to the end of the season. Let's I'm on, see if you I'm do on a, it. I'm on a hub now. Like, so only just. I'm, I'm yeah, you, you drop down a little bit. On now. Yeah. All right. Let's have a look to the end of the season. Okay, at the end of the season, you did survive, 15th yeah. place. I got that little bit of it up and then just stayed there. Then, yeah, so. I mean, you survived, but you're 20 points, which is... Uh, 40 points, sorry, so 20 extra points, which is great. Yeah. Um, nowhere near relegation. It's just, I mean, last season, you had a nice 12th place finish with 49 points, so it is a bit of a downward trend at the minute, but it's the start of something. And... Some Look at that. There's something beside my name. There's some silverware. Defeated Chelsea in the final after yep. extra time as well, Dad. Fair really play. For that. That's very good. Semi final the FA Cup too. I oh, know. I always want to make both of them yeah. at one stage. So, European football next season anyway, but that's that's good. Is that the first time that there's been uh, competition wins? It does look like it, actually. Yeah, so they won the FA Trophy, which is obviously the non league thing. Runner up in 2023, won it in year 2024, where Reese actually took over. But that is going to be the first ever like major trophy. Yeah, and it's been a good season, I think. Really. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know where Chelsea finished in the league. They were 10th place. Place, so not, not amazing me, no. 15 but, points above me so yeah there we go that's, that's, a, that's a trophy I think that's that. where I was lucky really I, I come up against a couple of sides that, that weren't that good for me to get there but all the big top six weren't even in it for me again it's a bad one in the league yeah. towards the end of the season like one win was, in your last month I two I a bit worried to be honest yeah with. there's some, some struggling periods of time there because yeah. you had a great February I was just lucky really that, that, that great February helped me out and then I was the teams below me were losing as well as me yeah so I wasn't dropping yeah. into that area yeah. I stayed where I was so I was lucky really well there's uh, season number one down in the bag you got 47 million pound next season to really spend with that, I mean. yeah and you're european gonna, football you're gonna be gutted because that's the amount of money you'd love to play with yeah it? So, yeah. yeah i was pleased with that so okay let's have a look then to see what you did at the start of season two and that's done two years of this gateshead one so let's see the progression by the end of it he needs to finish above 12th place that's what i would say well on the 11th of june dad you signed four players straight yeah. off the bat spending quite a lot of money so we've got another center back coming in there this is a very good sign in Yep. from uh, from Penarol for the, from Uruguay so that's a good new gen that you picked up I had an idea up. that I was going to change the formation so he was a good guy to get in yeah 3 million pounds a deal I mean Samuel Morodion yeah. I can't argue with that he's no. very good yeah. uh, hasn't developed as quite as good as what we've seen him in previous times 12 million pounds for Sebastiano Esposito one of your favourite families yeah absolutely or well, Salvatore Esposito sorry then we got uh, another 47 million pounds spent however yeah. you did sell 62 and you actually sold a little bit more at the end of last season as well there's a few players going out there yeah. if you look at here again Again, there's another £62 million worth. So Raymond Manga's gone out. Uh, Emeka Johnson's gone out. Or Jonathan, sorry. Another Mario there. He's a goalkeeper who's gone out too. I'm surprised that you sold him because he's quite a good goalkeeper and you've brought in a goalkeeper for the he same is. price. He is, but Anger's gun for me is... 
proven. You know, and I just he's looked at that. He's also 34. I know he's 34, but he is good and he is he's a proven sort of thing. You know, it's, and I, I looked at it and I thought, well, let's get him in. It, it, it wasn't that dear and see if it works out better for me. So. Okay, Nathaniel Brown comes in at left back. Then we got Sebastian Borner. That's a good signing. Yeah. 31 it's never, years of age. Never a player that we use quite a bit in it, really. Still very good, yeah. yeah. Janet Zek, again. So that's four centre-backs you brought in there. Or Murray Forzen on a free I'm, transfer is a good signing. To be honest, I'm, I'm actually trying to build the squad to make the squad stronger, as yeah. in when I get injuries and things like that. Whenever you got a player that would come to you that was half decent, I, was, I think I was sort of like just grabbing it as well, really. Yeah. Vesoth comes in for £3.6 million pound then finally got a loan deal here from AC Milan Ortiz just squad depth I yeah. imagine but you have changed the tactic you've gone for a four at the back with kind of a four triple two really yeah. uh, but with one in the middle and one out wide it's a fluid counter attacking style so obviously being a little bit more cautious of the team that you've got okay so that's the starting 11 that's your star man there really isn't it that was yeah. the guy that came in for quite a lot of money and Kovacs up top who is a very good striker actually so that's a that's a good sign in 1.2k Reese bought him for yeah well I'm Reese. That's uh, a good that is a very good sign of a yeah. 1.2k because he's turned out to be quite good and he's 55 million pound you did transfer list him it looks like you tried binning him off <laughs> yeah. you see how much he was worth and tried yeah. bringing in some more money let's have a look then start the season it doesn't look too bad you have lost to Manchester City but only 1-0 uh, and lost to Spurs 2-0 but you did beat Wolves 1-0, lost in the Europa Conference League by the uh, in the first leg, but knocked them out of the second leg. So yeah. you are through to the Europa Conference League second round, but or the the group stage league phase. But you are out of the FL Cup straight away. First straight round. away, <laughs> never mind. Yeah. Uh, so let's have a look at your group your group fixtures for the Europa Conference League. Adana there from Turkey, Applewell, PSV Eindhoven, Lech Poznan and Ozajet. You should be going through that, really. I know you're, you're gates head, yeah. obviously, but you should be going through yeah. that. I'm I in think. the Premier League, so I'm a Premier League side, so yeah, yeah I should be going through it, yeah. I agree. Uh, but okay, let's see then. Let's see if you can you can beat Reese's target. Well, obviously, what he managed to do with 12th place yeah. and see how you did there. Okay, 12th place finish as well. More points than what Reese had when he finished in 12th because he was 49 points, you got yeah. 56. But you do have a Europa League spot. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. <laughs> so we've already won one competition. Maybe we've won another. What did shock me? You only drew two games. Yeah. Crazy, really. You lost 18, won 18, but only drew two games. That's very rare to see. Do you have any players up there? Kovac managed to get up there with 24, so that's good. And a yellow card, which we always love a good game. The amount of yellow cards is brilliant. Uh, Liverpool finishing in 14th is hilarious to me. Yeah, and Everton. I do like that. I mean, Everton, obviously, they've been fighting around down there, but this is only 2031, and yeah. Liverpool are down in 14th yeah. place. So, uh, one of the achievement that is to finish above West Ham and Liverpool and Everton. Yeah, yeah. So, well done. Uh, Man City won the league with United finishing in second. Let's have a look at the competitions. How did you get on? Winner of the Europa Conference League. Penalties as well oh. against Bilbao. Fair play. That's a good rebuild, that. I, I must admit, I was quite pleased with the finish of it, really. Winning, yeah. winning the European Cup for them. So I don't think even Reese would expect me to win the league or no. get anywhere near it. But um, to win a cup and, and a European Cup as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite happy with that. I would be yeah. too. Uh, you made one signing in January, which was Chan Erzan. So it's like more of an attacking midfielder as yeah. well. And I guess you sold somebody as well. Yeah, he did. Amaro Nalo left there for £5 million. So a little bit of uh, business done in January. Tipped you over the line for this lovely European competition. I, mean, I got knocked out by Man City in the uh, FA Cup as well. So yeah. that's not sad about that. It was good. So yeah. really... There we go. So that's a great start to yeah. this with uh, dad rebuilding your saves there you go Reese. I mean he hasn't done necessarily very well in the Premier League but two competitions and a European competition is very good indeed takes survived a, in, the, in the Premier League yeah. and, and got you two cups and I, I don't know what the transfer budget would be for the next year takes his club to the new level 51 million pounds so that's good really the save file by the way will be on page.com forward slash Megaluke Gaming or will also be on the YouTube channel memberships. Reese, I'll be giving it back to you so you can carry on with Dad, or you can compare it to yourself as well. But if you want to carry on from where Dad has, then you can do for all three of today's saves. So there we go. There's the first one done and dusted. Yep. I think next we'll travel to the Netherlands, shall we? <laughs> In the Netherlands, we have FC Utrecht and Quabena's side that he has got with FC Utrecht. Uh, we are at the start of the second season. Now, the first season, 
Everton did actually do really well. Yeah. Third place, Champions League football. Only a just point a point off, off yeah. of PSV as well. Yeah, good. Very good. Nowhere near, obviously, final, but finishing above Ajax. Can't complain with that. That was no. very good. Now, the reason why Corbena wanted us to have a look at this is because he believed that it was a very poor transfer window throughout the, the 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 summer so he doesn't know whether how, whether this is going to be a progressive year or actually go backwards and we yeah. can see there's a few players who have already left the club already at the end of the 2023-24 season so a lot of players have already left at the end of that season a few players have come in as well including Tobias Gullickson who's very good uh, I, I remember this guy being quite good as well could yeah. strike for 18 years of age so there's one for the future and even Jaden Slory coming in who's a wonder kid uh, not quite there right now but still not bad at all and then Claudio Echeverri is one of the best wonder kids on the game sometimes if he progresses to his maximum potential ability but from from this looking at this he does look very good so dad takes him over at the end of the transfer window there's not really much to do plus there's no money in that transfer budget so we'll just see what he does at the end of January tactically we are playing a positive 4 3 3 so it's nothing too fancy it's very bog standard how you expect people to to line up using that inverted fullback though uh, to create a threat at the back there with a complete wing back going forward and we can see it's uh, kind of as you would expect yeah but the start in uh, well the start of the season we've actually qualified there for the champions league group stage because they have knocked out braga and adana but the start of the era de vc has not been fantastic a loss there to fc20 and a loss to champions final at home still scored three goals, still scored three goals good, really. yeah but that one guy scored five yeah. mental Velem two good win against them though and excelsior a good win against them but it's two teams you'd expect to beat after yeah. finishing in third place so champions league fixtures it's quite interesting actually because you've got Derry city in there as the first one young boys as well then it's a few difficult ones in inter atletico madrid and lille and even real sociedad and the yeah, end to really psg and ac <laughs> milan so i'm expecting you to probably finish in the top eight in that one dad yeah that's what you've got let's have a look what you do by January and how much you've changed things. Okay, we're at January. Dad, you actually made one signing before yep. we left, yeah, which was a, Daniel Jebison. Put him right in on the last day of the, of the transfer window. Yeah, and he's developing quite nicely, actually, yeah. in your, your team on loan. In January, you brought in Kufre, which is a left back from uh, Mallorca there. It's a good left back, too, for very cheap cost. I spotted him when he was over there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've seen you have conversations with him. <laughs> Jonathan Gradit from Lons. Good centre back, yeah. especially for the price as well. I know he's 32, but 625k to just give you some more options. Now, tactically, you have changed things around. You've gone for uh, a 4 3 1 2 formation, just slightly offset there. A bit more attacking off, though. Yeah, with a shadow striker in it, Javeri, who yeah. is very good. Jefferson actually is starting in your starting 11 there, as he's got five goals. So he's, he's doing okay. Duarte is up there, too. Uh, he's quite a good striker, really. Got four for you so far this season, Anderson Duarte, but it's that midfield that I quite like. Like, yeah. Uh, with Echeverri just ahead, which is probably going to help you. And, and the width that you've got in Estevez and Kufre, who are both fairly attacking fullbacks, and he's not amazing going forward, but probably better than what was there previously. So yeah, for what I can afford, he was he's good. So I mean, schedule wise, it's been kind of as you'd expect with Utrecht really yeah uh, obviously with the finish that they had previously in a third place, that's always going to be really difficult to replicate. But finishing well not finishing we're only halfway through the season but being in fourth place and still within like grabbing reach Two of games. those champions yeah champions league spots yeah you're just very unlucky that az alkmaar are doing great this yeah. season but PSV are down in 12. Yeah, I'm surprised with that. So, Mental. Yeah, so I'm, at, you know, it's six points. It's two. Yeah. In two games, really. That's all it's in. Ajax have come back firing. Yeah. After you finished above them last season. So, yeah, I guess it's on to the final part of the season yeah, there to see yeah. how they get on. Now, before we have a look at the final uh, seat, well, the end of this season and on to Dad's second season as manager of Utrecht. I am currently wearing a TCW jacket. Thank you to everybody who helped me raise over a thousand pounds for charity. We are running a second show, the Electric Boogaloo on April the 28th. It's the best name ever for a wrestling it is, isn't show. It, yeah. uh, the poster's now out that you can see on screen. So if you can come to the show, that would be amazing. But we are raising money this time round for Jeremiah's Journey, which is another children's charity. And I'll leave a link at the top of the description. If you can't make it to the show, but maybe you can donate 
five pound and if loads of different people raise uh will, will donated five pound we'd be able to raise another one thousand pound for charity for a very very good cause because yeah, that's the main reason why i do it although we have so much fun doing the wrestling and everything the fact that we can then pass over a check for over a thousand pound and it goes to a, a children's charity just absolutely warms my heart so the link at the top of the description will be for the charity and the link underneath it will be for the links to the uh to buy tickets to come to the show if you can come to the show even better because then we get to see you as well and those that ticket money will actually help go towards the charity too so if you can get down here you get to meet me and dad and my tag team partner who we're going to save his save at the end of this video then please do but i'm also in other shows too i've got rws which is in radstock at the end of april at start of april sorry and axminster as well at the end of march we've also got the april reach show which is the 21st which is in the New Continental in Plymouth, as well as TCW, which is my charity, on the 28th of April. And even in July, there's going to be one in July on the 6th. Just don't tell anybody I told you. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Let's have a look at the end of the season. Well, Dad, finished in fourth place. I, again, I think that's quite respectable. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the, the past record for the rest of the season that I got in January, roughly, I got to that sort of position. It just stayed there for the whole season. So yeah. I was pleased with that, really. PSV actually saved their season a little yeah. bit. 55 points compared to where they were down in 12th. Yeah, again, you're just really lucky Aza Alkmaar had yeah, a great right, season, yeah. to be honest. I Max felt, was your top scorer, too. Yeah, I felt I had the, sort of a good team there. They were consistent, and that's what you need, really, in, yeah. in, in the league type thing, to be consistent. So You've got a good young side. Like, yeah. Obviously, your top scorer, 25 goals is just a 19 year old who is contracted to you again was only bought for four million pounds but 16 goals in 29 appearances in the league is fantastic really yeah, it was a good buy. competitions winner of the cup Thanks for that one be ajax in the final as yeah. well you're a bit of a cup king when you take <laughs> over somebody else's save <laughs> Uh, Echeverry getting the first goal there, and Kufre getting the second. So it was a great cup win. Fantastic. Congratulations. Good season then, really, for me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was pleased with that. 25 goals from Max Jefferson got 21, so that was a good loan deal, really. And Duarte got 13. So all around, very impressive. Minus transfer budget, though. Yeah, I'm surprised I'm struggling. <laughs> Ooh. But there is a second season, so I'm curious. We'll see what yeah. Dad does. Will minus transfer budget. Dad, I'm shocked. Yes. On the outs. Well... You mentioned that I was on a minus three million, when I? So I, I, I thought if I just sell one of my big boys and then get some money in, so that's what I decided to do. Guy for that. Uh, he is not the only one to leave for a lot of money. Even no. fourteen million pound on a goalkeeper that you've uh, sold there. So he joined on a free transfer a couple of years ago, and as well as Gonzalo Estevez, who yeah. was brought in last season for six million pound. I knew I was going to change the formation, so there was um, a couple of players I, I could afford to lose. Yeah, it bounced left as well, yeah. centre midfielder for. Three million pound, but on the ins end, let's judge you on your ins. We've got Krejci, which is basically a free sign in, centre back or centre defensive midfielder, probably more of a centre defensive midfielder looking yeah. at his attributes to be fair. Although he is 6'3, so you could play him at centre back, yeah. just 10 positioning, it's not fantastic. Then we've got Hugo Ekatike for three million pounds. Coming from PSV, any so PSG, PSG, sorry, yeah, but that's a lot of money, Dad. I yeah, know obviously is, you had Jefferson last season I, for the formation that I was going to play now. I just need, I just needed some good strikers. Has he even? Has he at least started the season well? No. No. <laughs> no, he hasn't. Oh, that's poor. He hasn't scored a goal in three years. Lawrence Ziggy, £7 million goalkeeper. So that's decent. Ghanaian as well. So he's a four-star goalkeeper. So you've replaced the goalkeeper well, definitely. Yeah. He's kept two clean sheets already in your first two games. Or three games, sorry. Popovic, which is a good striker. Young one as well, 19. Actually classes German on here, which is weird. Usually he's Serbian, but there we go. A lot of 14s in there, which I yeah. think... Very it, good. it hides how good he actually is. And, and he's, he's 19. So he's really 19 good, with isn't it? a good potential. Yeah. So 4.5 million pound there. Has he at least scored? See, you don't need to spend 3 million pound on a loan. <laughs> Rasmus Kartson, Kartinson, 7 million pound on a right back, Dad. In the right Eredivisie. Back, it's, it's one of my weak positions. And, and, and I've just strengthened my goalkeeper. I've strengthened my right back now. I'll get, get, probably get another centre back in. Oh, I, I always think prioritise the positions you need most with your money. <laughs> loan, Rory Wilson from Aston Villa. That's a good free loan now. Yeah. Uh, it's off the ball is his only weakness, but great finishing in first touch. Composure, anticipations there. He's got a decent amount of pace as well. Got nine goals in the championship last year for, for Barnsley. Hasn't played for you yet, but he did only join on the 1st of September. Yeah. As did Shrikoshi, who's a backup goalkeeper, I'd imagine, on loan from Brentford. And Wes 
Wesley Saeed, who is a very good uh, backup option up front too. I like Son and Wesley because again, kind of like what we've seen with the other striker you bought, a lot of 14s. Yeah. So people don't realize how good he actually is. Yes. Yeah. You know, 14 is a good number to have in, in a lot of different uh, attributes. So very strong on one foot, fairly strong on the other. He's a decent striker. He's a good, he's a good backer, especially for the wages of 7K. You can't really go wrong with that. Hasn't played a lot of football for a while, but with some game time, I think he can score you some goals. Let's have a look then. Tactically, you've changed it to a three up front. Yeah, like I said, I needed strikers for the formation I was going to play, so that's it. Yeah, uh, your midfield's solid. You don't yeah. really need to change that, to be no. fair. You've got a great midfield there. Duarte and Wilson either side of Ekaty. TK up there. Fair enough. Uh, and Kreshke actually goes at centre-back. Yeah. 10 position, and I'd be a little bit worried with that. <laughs> uh, you rather centre-back, how good is he at positioning? 12. God! It'd be easy to break you down. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see how that how that plays out. Schedule then. It's been very good so far, but you haven't had a test. We always mention that, don't we? When we come back at the end of the trance window, have you been tested yet? with a new team, a new tactic. Yeah. That's to come in the next month. Well, I, played, I played Ajax there, look. And I don't know, is that a cup game? Yeah. How did you beat them 8-0? Look at the team I've got. Yeah, but what team did they have? I don't know. <laughs> they actually played their first team 8-0. That's mental. He's even playing their stadium too. NAC 2-0, 4-0 against Herovian, which don't, they don't have a bad team, to be fair. The test 2-1, Volendam 0-0. But that's annoying. Yeah. But again, you've got the... In competitive fixtures... The tests are coming up. PSV yeah. and Ajax in that fixture with Bayer Leverkusen in the Europa League. Because, of course, you have qualified for the Europa League next season. Bayer Leverkusen, Basel, Boa Vista, Dinamo Kiev, Montpellier, Joe Gordons, Galatasaray. Ooh, welcome to hell. Away. And a red star. That's a difficult game away yeah, too. definitely. So you've got some tricky fixtures in there. I'd still like to think I qualify though. Yeah. Second season of SCU Trap. Fourth place in that first season. I think you, you should be good. Obviously, you got won the cup last year. Let's see what happens in the second season with Dad at Utrecht. Oh, there we go. Champions of the Eredivisie. They're all season, look, mate. Well, you won. You were second for ages. Well, first or second is they're all season, isn't it? <laughs> Just <laughs> makes the rules up as he goes hey, come along. come on. They're all season. Well, you I didn't, your I didn't bloody drop line. down and come back up again. Then I was there. You actually lost more games than Ajax, including yeah. you beat them yourself, but they drew eight. Well, they, drew, they you look at their last five games, they drew two of them. Yeah, they and dropped cost points them the there. You would have thought you were there all season. <laughs> you lost four games there uh, against two teams you'd expect, but two teams that you wouldn't oh, either. So the, yeah. I mean, one of those teams was at the bottom of the league. God, yeah, you even <laughs> drew against a couple of ones that were down there as well. FC yeah. Groningen, Volendam, they were down there too. I mean, it's nice beating the teams that's up and around you in the top of the league, but you shouldn't be losing against the bottom of the league. No. You had a goal scorer there with 15, Max again. We've got Cartonson. That was a good right back by in the end, look. Yeah. Second highest average rating in the league. Uh, he also got one, one of the most player of the matches too. Strakosha actually ended up being your number one goalkeeper, which did surprise me. Yeah. Considering obviously you bought the Garnier, yeah. who I thought was better. He was awful. But yeah. did you do anything else? You had European football. No, but you won the cup. Did it again. Domestic double. The domestic. They beat the final in the final. Yep. Now, that is a very good rebuild, that. Considering when he sent it in and he's finished in third place in that first season, that, that obviously the guy who sent it in did, I thought, oh, that's going to be a difficult one to, yeah. to make better. But yeah. you've definitely done that. Two cup wins. And not too bad in, in Europa League. Round of 16 against Montpellier. You should be beating them, yeah. but it's just, that's unfortunate. You didn't play in that knockout playoff round, which meant you finished in the top eight. And you went unbeaten. Yeah, really pleased with that. Yeah, you drew to Galatasaray, drew to Montpellier. And annoyingly, that's the team that knocked you out. But you won six. Nice little 6-4 away win to Basel. Yes. Yeah. An entertaining one, wasn't it? Leverkusen is a really good one to win as well. Yeah. Yeah, uh, final was won by Juve. He beat Atalanta in that final. So really good. Max got 25 goals. He's been absolutely outstanding for you and grown and developed quite nicely. 20, 20 years of age there and he's worth quite a bit of money now. Yeah. For anybody who would like to take on the FCU Tret save, you got £14 million. And of course... Uh, a, a title win inside that's your your goal is to to keep that going on but i will be trying to send it back to quabena as well and and see if he would like to carry on the save with fcu trek but we've got one more save for dad to save and it's my tag partner dbj this one's a fun one. now danny boy johnson on to his save which is saved as Newport, but it's actually the manager of Barrow. Now, yeah. why is that? Because he resigned from Newport to take over as manager of Barrow in the first season. Two teams in the same league as well. But if you go on the league table, they are currently the bottom two teams. <laughs> 
We're in January, 27 games played. The team that he's currently at, Barrow, are a little bit better situated than Newport. And I don't want to say that Danny Boy Johnson, DBJ, my tag team partner in wrestling, is trying to destroy two clubs in one season. But he's doing well. But he's going the right way about yeah. it. Won six games so far, including against Newport, but that might have been when he was the Newport manager and yeah, he decided to do one. Yeah. And then, of course, Newport, they have already, they've only won four games. It's not been a fantastic start for, for Danny Boy Johnson. We've got new t-shirts out, by the way. If you want to buy one, drop me a message. There might even be a link for that t-shirt. I'll pop up on screen if I can work out how to sell it just finding a shop alone just for that has been a nightmare so tactically I can see why it's kind of going wrong for him <laughs> a 5-2-3 formation that we've got here it says 5-2-3 yeah. but it's four across the midfield but there's two wing backs uh, it's a cautious formation using wing play getting stuck is a high defensive line but using a mid block there's certain like instructions that i would look at and go it's contradicting each other and um, playing really wide on a cautious mentality being very direct and passing into space means a lot of the time you're hitting and hoping down the wings yeah. and you're going to be losing the ball quite often so i'd imagine the turnover is quite high i mean i can't remember how to actually find it but the amount of times that you lose the ball i'd imagine is, is quite quite high compared to uh, the rest of the, the teams in and around your league. So pass completion might not be that good. Um, but okay, so Dad, you've got a bit of a challenge going on here. Okay. This one's very hard. Zero transfer budget with a minus eight wage budget as well. This was just solely going to be change of tactic and cross fingers, close my eyes. Exactly that. Pray. So far, it's it's been a very difficult season for Dan. This is the reason why he passed it on to us to see what you could do with this Barrow team. So let's see what you started out with. Right, so as we probably guessed, there wasn't any signings coming in. Nope. Uh, but what you have done is changed the tactic. You've I'll gone just... for what I would probably say is more of a defensive formation than what Dan was playing yeah. because his was like three at the back, cautious, but a lot of men going forward. Yeah. Whereas you got five at the back here, uh, three on a defensive duty, two on an attack duty, but then your midfield is a lot more solid. Yeah. Three in there with one center attack and two on just attack. there really and there's, and there's one going forward. Yeah. So you've got a couple of support roles. Obviously, the I'm trying to make it that we're going to be a lot harder to beat. Yeah. I would settle for... Staying up. Staying up, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, currently still, you're only 23rd, so you haven't really... But you didn't have a lot of time compared no. to that. So, you, you, I mean, you've fallen off a little Six bit to Grinsby. Six behind, uh, behind Grinsby. Yeah. yeah was a bit um, really. And since you took over, there's only been two draws that you've got. Game. But you did draw against Notts County, <laughs> who are a good team in this league. You did get battered by Crew at home which is worrying. And I fear for your job in a way is a D so far and a D overall support. D for Danny Boy Johnson. Yeah. D for could be done with a job. <laughs> uh, so we'll I'm see. I'm going to say I'm not slagging him off. I ain't got to get in the ring with him. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. I'm on his team new, yeah. normally. Uh, I've, I've only ever wrestled against him once and it was it was very sad. Uh, we both cried in the ring at the end. <laughs> but there we go. So you need you need to find some goals. you got Emil Aqua who's getting 10 so far. But yeah, you need Dom Telford to start scoring some more goals. He's only on seven, really. Yeah. And he's, he's classed as your better striker. You need to start getting firing. Is this the tactic to do it? Let's see if Dad can survive in season number one, taking over at Barrow. There we go. Just survived With the skin. on the final day. <laughs> A final day survived. last game of the season. Look, I can't remember who I beat. It looks like maybe it was Mansfield 4-2. What a win that was. Wow. Where were they in the league, Mansfield? Were they celebrating or were they just uh, finished the season out? They were 17th. 17th yeah. So they're just finishing the season out. They yeah. had nothing to fight for, did they? But so in doing so, Mansfield. you knocked down Harrogate Town. Yeah. So Danny Boy Johnson actually made a good choice in moving from Newport because they finished on 31 <laughs> points. They were dead and buried, really. Doncaster with 89 points up there, look. There's a few clubs that were around you. Obviously, Grimsby were the, the team yeah, that was just above you. They were only two, 49. Two points and I could have been 19th place. Uh, so I mean, One win away. You changed tactics halfway through. You yeah, went for yeah, this yeah, again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously, things didn't really work out, so you went to a five-two-one-two. I think sometimes when you the when you season. defend too much, you just haven't. You just You're inviting, inviting it, on it all you. onto yeah. you. So you you, you do got to change it slightly and go for it. Yeah, but you picked up way more draws than losses. Yeah. And I think that was the most important thing there. I mean, you're getting Stop wins. Stop conceding a lot of goals if you look at it. Look. Yeah, yeah. You're getting wins. There's Newport there, like Morecambe. The, 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 I mean, every month you're getting one or two losses. Yeah. 
maximum. I mean, that month of February was a big month. I didn't lose at all in February. Yeah, instead of like, here we go, like August and October, yeah. where there's like five in a row in both months. It's, it's a lot better when you're kind of saving points yeah. from the the draws rather well, than eating a lot. One point's better than no points. Exactly. Proved that. That at the end of the season, didn't it? <laughs> that is mathematics. <laughs> I'm here all week. Oh, I don't understand why this is so on, isn't it? Yeah. Just, just score more goals than the other team, guys. I've all said that, I? Exactly, yeah. If I score more than you, I'll win. Yeah, it just makes no sense. I don't understand how... I mean, why... Why, why do they find football so difficult? It's just not hard, is it? No. Just score more goals than the other team. Do yeah. you hear that, DBJ? Just just score more. I mean, look at Coventry. Say, Coventry the other day with the beat. Wrestling's so easy. Oh, Dan, yeah. just make sure we pin them before <laughs> they pin us. All right? Make sure you come watch us. You'll have so much fun, I'm telling you now. You'll absolutely love DBJ. He's, he's an absolute well, hilarious... Go on his profile picture. He's not a very good football manager player by the looks of this. That is exactly what he looks like. He looks exactly like that. That is Dan. Yeah. <laughs> you've got another season to see what you can do with, with Barrow. Yeah, and you've been given 22k. With no wages. <laughs> I mean, you got you got more goals out of Aqua and Telford, just not that many. And Jed Garner actually came in with quite a few as well, twelve in, in eventually. Let's see what he did then in in this uh, final part, and see what you can do with probably the hardest challenge that you've had to come across so far. I, I that season there, I, I struggled, yeah. really struggled. I was so glad to get to the end of the season and see I survived. I was like, oh, I sat yeah. back and relaxed then. Okay, let's find out. Oof, this is <laughs> this this was so difficult. Woeful. You, you approach a player and they're just not interested in coming to you. <laughs> not It was just like straight out, no. Good God. So I, I felt that I'd done really well to get the, the calibre of these players in because they're not very good. But they're what calibre? <laughs> yeah. He's supposed to be the best signer that you've made. Yeah, I know. Four strength. Yeah. Jesus, this is uh, this is worrying, Dad. I'm worrying we're going to take a I backward was, step here. I was just like, get some players in just to strengthen the squad that I had in there. Anybody could be better than what I had. And, oh. Yeah. Tactical changes. You have made some. Yeah. Cautious 4 3 3 now. So we've ditched the five at the back, gone for a, a standard four at the back. Well, I found at the end of last press. The end of last season when I went a bit more attacking, they were better. Yeah. So I took a chance now, I put another striker in, I thought, and, and I've gone a little bit more attacking again. I mean, it's attacking cautiously because you got men forward, but playing cautiously yeah. instead of, you know, let's just absolutely go for it. Yeah. you got Aqua and obviously Larson has come in now, Julian Larson, who's a little bit faster than other players with good off the ball. That could be uh, something in your advantage there. I mean, he's got two and two assists already. Yeah. Good stuff. So Julian Larson's not a bad yeah. little pick up that one. Did you sign? No, that's the one you got on loan. Sorry, I, yeah. I thought you did. Yeah, so you got him on loan. It's a good loan signing, actually, that one. Because going alongside Aqua and Telford, you just need one of them to start scoring goals. That's, yes, the, right. that's the thing. Yeah. When I started looking at those players, I was like, oh, God, this is ugly. There's a lot, lot of supporter players in that role, isn't it? Yeah. It's unusual for me. Yeah. The supporter roles. But there we go. So, schedule. It's actually been really good. Yeah. So, Swindon, you lost 2-1. But Doncaster, who obviously were top of the league for a while last yeah. season, actually won the league. You knocked out of the cup. Yeah. 2 0. Fair play. They're the league above you now. Mansfield 5 2. You've done me, this, done me a favour last season. Yeah, so kept I just you up. They were the only reason. This season. Yeah. Burton 2 1 as well. That's good. Uh, Salford 5 1. Cheers. Yeah. Gary Neville's crying. Yeah. It was nice just to meet them and see them crying as they were walking away. Yeah. Shrewsbury 2 1 loss, though. That's unfortunate, but that's in the cup. Doesn't matter too much. And a Tranmere loss as well, 5-3. But so far, so good. It was a good start to the season, I yeah. think. Yeah. Compared to the signings, it's very positive. Yeah, I mean, I got nine points already. So. Yeah, it's almost as many as what you started yeah. off with when you, were, <laughs> when you took over Barrow. So there we go. Let's have a look to see where you end up in the second season. Fantastic stuff. 15th place, Dad. Yeah. I mean, I'm disappointed not to see us in the playoffs, but I never expected that, really. I think you just had a good start against some of the worst teams yeah, I mean, in the league. Yeah, if you look at the, the overall for the whole season, I had that good start, then it just sort of just faded off a little bit. And yeah. And then um, I just managed to sort of creep back up again and stay there. Then. Yeah, a bit of a worry down there. Yeah, like, I, was, I was getting a bit worried again. Uh-oh, you saved it I was it just pleased end. that I finished higher than Exeter. Well, that's it. That yeah. was job done for me. Dan will be pleased that too. <laughs> yeah. As a very big Plymouth Argo fan and a, a, a season ticket holder at Home Park is DBJ. Finishing above X there, yeah. we cannot that's complain That's the favourite I've that. done you, Dan. There we go. So that's absolutely fantastic. 65 points. My advice to you, Dan, would be to, to start using a little bit more attacking tactics and ditch the three at the back. Seriously? My advice to you, Dan, is stick to the rest and <laughs> get the football manager. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but there we go. So, overall, very good. Now, cup competitions. Didn't win anything. Knocked out the northern section by Doncaster. Second round by Shrewsbury, which we've already seen. Third round, the FA Cup by Derby. Yeah. Respectable, really. Yeah. You can't complain too much. Goals-wise, Dom Telford. However, the squad is looking tiny. Really small, isn't it? Which might be the reason why that we tailed off at the end there. Yeah. I mean, I think... Mean players come out of contract and music again. Yeah. So if anybody wants to take it on, you've got 16k in the chance budget, but an okay wage budget. That yeah. can get you like three or four okay players for this league. I would suggest trying to stick with a very similar tactic and see how you get on. We'll be we'll be uh, sending this back to Dan and see if he wants to have a go. But again, page.com forward slash Megaloop Gaming or on the YouTube members page, all three of these says will be available. And if you want to see more like this, where dad takes on and maybe tries to save your rebuilds, then please let me know. Either DM me on Twitter or Instagram, and we can sort out another video where dad takes them over. Did you have fun doing it, though? Yeah, it was good fun. Yeah. You know, just take and seeing where, you know, where people were and how they're doing it and some of the players they bought. You know, some, I had some good players in, in sort of the teams, and it was challenging as well. Yeah. Because, you know, you, 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 especially if you take over a team that you can't do anything with yeah, yeah. for a six months or for the rest of the season type of thing, and you sort of like really struggle then. Dropped in before a transfer window. Yeah. Okay, yeah, very good. good. Hope you enjoyed watching it too. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel. Let's get those subscribers back yeah, up, shall we? Where, where are we to now on that? Well, 123,000. Yeah. Well, let's get to 130,000 as quick as we possibly can. Like. Exactly. Yeah, start getting the figure back up again. Yeah. And remember, the link's at the top of the description if you want to donate to Jeremiah's Journey or if you want to buy a ticket to the TCW show. I would love to see you. And if you're interested in any of the other shows, Radstock, Axminster or Plymouth, just drop me a DM. Instagram or Twitter, I tend to see quite a lot of them. Uh, and then I'll, I can let you know. Or if, or if you want to buy a VC t-shirt, support me and Dan. Because by the looks of it, he's not going to make a career out of being a football manager. <laughs> so support us by buying us a tea, buying one of our t-shirts and you can rock it. Because it's the only way else he's going to be top of the league. <laughs> yeah. T-shirt pun intended. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.